Family, friends, relationships, schoolwork, life decisions, and other countless things take away our focus from our health and well-being. According to psychologytoday.com, teens and young adults in the United States are more stressed, anxious, depressed, and lonely more than ever. Self-care has been the buzzword for a while now, but it's hard to visualize what that means in our lives. We need to learn how to bring ourselves back into focus. Self-care is anything you enjoy doing that helps make you happy and can maintain your physical, emotional, and mental health. There are so many ways to practice self-care, but first we need to ask, What would I like to accomplish? What do I love doing? What am I passionate about? Whatever it is we choose to do, it's important to carve out time in our daily routine. It's not always easy, but it's a necessary step. Starting now, we can turn these activities into habits as time goes on. Let's take a look at how we can practice self-care in our everyday lives, courtesy of nghclaycenter.org. Even though we hear time and time again how important it is to exercise, many of us don't do it. But exercise is essential in self-care. There are many things you can do such as walking, dancing, playing a sport, riding your bike, swimming, jumping rope, or roller skating. There's something out there for everyone. You can also switch up activities to keep things interesting. Another bonus, exercise is a natural way to help decrease depression and anxiety. So make time to exercise for at least 15 to 20 minutes a day. And don't forget to drink lots of water because it is an essential element for your body and your brain. Another thing we hear a lot about is the importance of us getting enough sleep. Did you know teens should get 9 to 12 hours of sleep each night? This helps both our physical and emotional well-being. When we are sleep deprived, we're not able to function at our highest levels. Make sure to limit screen use before bed and keep all digital devices out of the bedroom so you can get a great night's sleep. Meditation is a great way to relax while reducing anxiety, depression, and stress. It can be learned in person with an expert or online through videos or apps on your phone. Yoga is another way to practice self-care. It helps with flexibility, reduces stress, and can also be learned from videos online. There are different types of yoga studios right here in Lakeland, and the North Lakeland YMCA has group yoga classes. Whether you feel you're a creative person or not, choosing an outlet such as journaling, painting, taking photos, playing music, or even coloring can help you channel your emotions. You can take lessons or just do it for fun. These creative activities also help keep bad thoughts and feelings away. Who doesn't love spending time with their pet? Spending time with your pet is one of the best ways to foster self-care. Whether it's cuddling with them, taking care of them, or playing a quick game of fetch, you'll feel less stressed and happier during the day after a fun time with your pet. Meet and talk with your friends outside of school. Research shows that hanging with friends and talking about what's going on in your life prevents burnout and helps well-being. Try playing board games, jumping around at an indoor trampoline park, or doing crafts together. Remember, you only need a few special friends to make a huge difference in your life. Get outside and enjoy nature. Florida has beautiful weather year-round, so head to a state park, beach, or springs to soak up the sun and appreciate the world around you. What are some ways you could practice self-care in your life? Sitting down, playing with my cat, and meditating. Every once in a while, you just need to take a moment to think for yourself and not about everyone else. I practice self-care by getting a good night's sleep. Some ways that I practice self-care is that I, I draw to take my mind off of things. I practice self-care by just sleeping a lot. That's like the only thing I did last weekend. I practice self-care by getting good sleep. When you are kind to other people, that does something for yourself, and that, that is self-care for you, too, because being kind to other people is self-care because it makes you feel good. So I want you to take maybe 30 seconds, seriously, 30 seconds, and think about what you do for yourself on a daily basis. What are you doing for yourself that makes you feel happy? That's all self-care is. What makes you feel happy and good and healthy? And whatever you're doing, do it more. I'm serious, do it more. Remember, it's always important to pay attention to your physical and emotional needs. Doing stuff that makes you happy helps maintain your physical, mental, and emotional health. Self-care helps prevent stress before it strikes. So pamper yourself whenever you can, and whatever makes you happiest, keep doing it. Bringing yourself back into focus is always worth the effort. I'm Aaliyah. And I'm Brianna. TND News.